All right, not that too many of you give a damn, but I uh, just wanted to show you, give you a glimpse of how easy gardening can be. These are the peppers I was waiting on all season. I think they're the hot, they're, they're the hottest pepper I have in the garden. These are ghost peppers. Boot Jalakia or Boot Jocolia. They're boots, they're butts. But uh, they're hot as hell. They have this wrinkliness to them. And uh, some of them have these cool little tails right there. And um, they're really getting big. And uh, you can see this plant. Here's my hand. There's two of them, one here and one there. They're just massive. And when we got them, they were that big. And I've never grown them before. You can see the flowers right here, which means there's gonna be more coming in. These little guys right there, that's where they come from the flowers. It's so easy. And I don't mean like bragging kind of easy. Like literally, I put it in the ground, not too low, not too high. I give it a little bit of fertilizer and I water it. And I make sure that it's taken care of, but you know, not falling over. But other than that, I don't really do much. It tells me when it wants water. And, um, he loves the sunlight, so that one's really neat. And these jalapeno plants have gotten so damn big, not because of me, I've barely done anything to them, so just uh, you know, keep some of this in mind. If you think gardening is hard, sometimes the hardest part is just making the garden. Mother Nature does everything else for you. But those plants over there, those ghost pepper plants, they really taught me patience because I thought they weren't. I thought they were just going to grow into a bush and never fruit. And now they're fruiting. You can see all the jalapenos coming in. Just There's like a, a hundred or two hundred jalapenos in this garden. While Meanwhile, there's like a thousand um, habaneros. Those are Caribbean habaneros over there. And these are regular orange habaneros there you could see some of them there so uh three habanero plants that's got to be oh i see a bad one this plant might be this plant might be no good we'll see we're just going to keep keep these guys out of it you throw that over the fence otherwise it looks like a really healthy plant cayenne peppers Smallest, medium, biggest. This one gets the most sun, so next year we're going to rotate them to where they're facing north and south so they get a lot more sun. This plant has the biggest peppers. You can see that's about a medium size. Ah, it's so hard to do this. About, about a medium size there. Um, that's a good size one there. But some of them get bigger than that, while this plant over here can get much smaller ones. And, uh, I haven't checked on this jalapeno plant. He's all on his own. Oh, look at that. Got one that's got a little cancer. Got a little eaten by the bugs. But he's gone, but look at these guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Guys, gardening's easy. I'm not bragging, I'm just letting you know. Because you should all be doing it. If you want to, you should be doing it. And if you don't want to, then don't do it. It's that simple.